Chaz, played by Lucy Pargeter, and Charity Dingle, Emma Atkins, have been at each other's throats for weeks on Emmerdale, ever since the latter got her hands on the deed to the Woolpack. However, Marlon Dingle's, Mark Charnock, stroke has seemed to have healed some rifts and brought the warring clan back together, regardless of how long the peace will last. As Chaz put her pride aside and decided to help Charity at the pub, who was clearly devastated about Marlon's news, it seemed she was right at home behind the bar and this could be a huge hint she will again reclaim the throne in upcoming scenes on the ITV soap. The episode focused on how the villagers were reacting to Marlon having a stroke, with everyone saying their prayers he would be on the road to recovery soon. As various members of the Dingle family discovered what had happened, their heartache turned to put on a united front. All feuds and rifts were put to the side and when Chaz entered the pub to join her loved ones for a drink, it was Marlon who brought them back together. Can we get you a drink? Ryan Stocks, James Moore, asked Chaz before he turned to his mother and hinted towards her getting the beverage for her cousin. Struggling with one of the ale pipes, Charity said she would get the drink once she had fixed the ongoing issue with the beer. Having been behind the bar for many years as a landlady, Chaz said, Can I have a go, at fixing it? To which Charity agreed. Explaining how she was going to resolve the issue, the former landlady explained, Remember how Marlon used to have that trick? Well, he finally let me in on that secret a week before we had the fire. What you have to do is give it a little wiggle. What he compared it to meant we couldn't have eye contact for a week. He called it the Marlon method, Chaz continued. Fortunately, Marlon had helped the warring cousins from afar as Charity was grateful for Chaz's help with her problem. Later on in the episode, Charity was seen talking to Sam Dingle, James Houdon, and Lydia Dingle, Karen Blick, about her reconciliation with Chaz. When they suggested Chaz should help her tidy up the pub as she knew the place like the back of her hand, Charity said it would be fine as it was likely her cousin would have her hands full. Lydia added, if you ask me, that's what's always been the problem with you two, you're too similar, to which the landlady of the pub replied, it goes a lot deeper than that, to be honest. It feels all I seem to do at the moment is make a mess of things, she continued, with Sam's wife stating, take it from a professional, it's never too late to clean them up. Charity gave an accepting head nod before leaving the Wishing Well Cottage to close down the pub for another night. Dot however, her conversation with Sam and Lydia, as well as seeing Chaz back behind the bar could give her an idea of how she could repair their relationship. The New Theory from Express Co.uk suggests Charity will go to her cousin and ask her to take on her share of the wool pack. Chaz would be shocked to hear this, knowing her cousin put up such a fight to make the venture work alongside her son, Ryan. Explaining her reasons for doing so, Charity could accept she is well out of her depth and someone who knows how to run the place should be the landlady. Having spent months nursing a broken heart over losing the pub, will Chaz accept the offer to become the pub's new landlady? How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death? How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003 question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale. When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? 
What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? 1996 saw the arrival of one of Hollyoaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in East Tenders? How many fires have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air this would certainly put Chas back on the map as one of the village's most influential figures, though she would have to leave her managerial role at the bed and breakfast. Charity could also stay on as a barmaid, helping Chaz and Ryan with the everyday running of the iconic establishment. As Marlon continues with his recovery from the stroke, he could be overjoyed to hear his cousins have made up and are going to work together. With lots of ideas to get the punters back into the pub, having lost a lot of trade during the pandemic, Chaz could get the place booming again. But how long will the peace last between her and Charity and will they be at each other's throats again before too long? Executive producer, Jane Hudson, spoke with Express. Co.uk and other media outlets earlier this year to explain the next few months were going to be big for the Dingles. The soap boss said, there is lots going on for the Dingles as we head into 2022. Two of our most loved Dingles are going to be facing huge life-changing situations that are going to have repercussions for the whole village. The effects of this are going to be long-lasting over the course of 2022 and into 2023. In the next few months, we'll see drama, joy, fun, laughter, agony, pain, grief and despair hit this family. They will be pulled into a lot of directions and be at the heart of our very biggest stories this year, so could this be Chaz reasoning her title as a landlady of the Woolpack?